Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'll be doing a movie review for you guys. So the movie I'm reviewing today is Paranormal Activity Next of Kin. So this is now, I think, the seventh installment in the Paranormal Activity franchise. And this is exclusive to Paramount Plus, so if in order to watch it, you'll have to get Paramount Plus. And they do have a seven day free trial, so if you are trying to get uh, this movie for free, then definitely do the seven day free trial and then cancel before the end of the seven days. You can also watch The Quiet Place 2, which is also on there. So definitely if you're interested, go check that out. But let's get into Paranormal Activity Next of Kin, or should I say Paranormal Activity COVID, or Paranormal Activity Berries and Cream, which those are kind of just funny. There is like a little bit of a, a COVID thing in this where they're at an airport and they're wearing masks and they bring up the whole idea of COVID, but then it's never brought up in the rest of the movie. So that was a little interesting. Um, and then the, the one of the characters in this movie gets a haircut and it really looks like the berries and cream guy. And they even mentioned TikTok in this. So this is a very current Paranormal Activity movie, but let's get into what Paranormal Activity Next of Kin is about. This movie is following Margot, and she is a woman who was adopted when she was a baby, and she found out that her mother left her in like the hospital, and she was adopted, and she doesn't know anything about her family, but she did a 23andMe DNA test, and she found a relative. Uh, it just so happened that this relative was a Amish guy who was on his Rumspringa, which is like the the year after you turn like 18 or something in the Amish community and you get to go out into the real world and see what everything is about. He decided he was going to take a DNA test and him and Margot matched. So they met up and Margot wanted to know a little bit more about her past and her family and they end up going to the Amish community and just kind of seeing what's up and meeting all the people that were in her family. And this is a found footage movie like all of the Paranormal Activity movies have been so far, but this one is a documentary style, whereas the other ones are mostly like security cam footage and stuff like that. And once they get to the Amish community, they end up staying in the house and the door going up to the attic, which is where Margot's mother used to live. It's locked with multiple padlocks and weird things start happening. They start hearing noises from up in the attic and they find some weird stuff on the property of this Amish community. And that's where I'm going to leave the synopsis. So I feel like this had a bit of some logical issues, mostly with the, the community of Amish people. I feel like I'm originally from the Pennsylvania, New York area, where the primary population of Amish people are, and so my grandfather like lived right up the street from an Amish community. And I feel like these people really don't understand Amish people. Margot and her friends needed to realize that they probably shouldn't have brought cameras to the Amish community because they probably would not be very welcoming of that. So I do think that there are some good scares in this. There were a couple of times that I was like, oh, that's kind of scary. Uh, I do think that it's not as effective as the first one, but I think that that might be just time and it was like a new thing. So we've now got the style and everything like that. This movie also does have a polish to it that the other movies do not. Considering that this is supposed to be like for a documentary, it definitely looks a lot better than like the security cam footage. This movie also is very similar to a lot of different movies. I feel like it takes very heavily from Ari Aster and Hereditary and Midsummer. Like the whole premise is kind of midsummery where they're going to this Amish community, uh, which some people might consider a cult or something like that. So it's very similar in that respect. But then I also think that there's a little bit of this hereditary mythology that's intertwined in this movie. And I think that that's also kind of interesting as well. It also has some like very wreck 
scenes. The scenes look like they're straight out of Rack or Quarantine, which is the American remake of Rack. There's a lot of scenes that are kind of like that as well. I'm also not going to spoil anything, but I do think that this movie steers away from the whole idea of paranormal activity. Like I mentioned, it is a bit of like a hereditary mythology where we still do get some of those classic paranormal activity things that happen in the franchise, but there is something that steers it pretty far away from paranormal activity, if that makes sense. I think it'll make sense if you watch the movie. I'm just trying to be very vague so I don't spoil anything for you. But I want to end this review on my rating of the movie. I give it a three and a half stars out of five. I really liked this movie. I liked the polish on it. I thought that the story itself was interesting without the paranormal activity added in, so I really did enjoy that. And overall, I thought that it was cool. I don't think it's necessarily a paranormal activity movie, but I think that it is a pretty decent found footage movie for sure. So that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of Paranormal Activity Next of Kin and whether you like it or not. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.